Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at how this changing strategy has changed, um, has, has gone on. Um, in the previous episode I showed you how I started again to save with Hereford and this time we went for, rather than keeping the the original players of Hereford and tried to build a tactic around them, I kind of just went on from the start and did my own thing. And um, it's actually going really well. We've maintained a permanent position um, at fourth place. Sorry, not permanent, stable position at fourth place. Um, round about there. Uh, third, fourth, and so forth. Um, so it's going pretty well. It's looking like we're going to be able to maintain it until the end of the season. So it looks like we will have a shot at the playoffs at the end of the season, which is very, very good. In the background, I've been improving the training facility and the youth facilities. Um, let me just see if I can improve anything else while I'm in this screen. And so, yeah, it's, so it's worked for us. We're, we're working with um, a park the bus strategy, um, but it's been adapted to be a bit more attacking than that. So let's have, let's have a look at that. Um, we are playing with two poacher uh, strikers and also a center midfielder in the attack role. So that makes the whole tactic a bit more attacking than the usual park the bus. Um, yeah, now in the January transfer window, I made a few changes. Actually, there isn't really a transfer window in this league. I kind of just keep that habit going, um, even though you can do rolling transfers pretty much until the end of March, I think, uh, in, in this league. But um, I did go ahead and do a few transfers around about January. One of those transfers was a forced transfer in the light in the left side of the fence. Um, one of our players got poached, so Louis de Souza got poached to another club, and I went and got them the experienced player um, David Fitzpatrick for this role. He's actually the first player that we actually bought for two two k. Um, I'm not really a fan of buying players low down in the leagues, but I did buy this one. I can't remember where Louis went. I have a feeling he went to a worst club, yeah. I don't know why, I offered him a contract, a counter offer to Harrow, but he went with Harrow anyway, so off he goes. But yeah, he was actually not a bad player for us at this level. Uh, then I did um, another change in defense, uh, Dwayne Willie, which was we used in different saves, in the other save. We used him as well. He came in in January to um, bolster up the defense. We had Eden Sear before. I think he's still hanging around in the... Yeah, there he is. He's uh, hanging around still in the um, under 21s. That's another change we have. We've also now got an under 21s team just so I can put these players somewhere. They're players that I don't necessarily want to get rid of. And there's also a bunch of players that um, I've been struggling to sell. So we're just kind of keeping him in there. All our under 18s have gone, they've been poached. Um, but that's that's okay, not really caring about that at the moment. The other change in the defense is actually in the defensive midfield. We have Craig Smith, if I could find him. And I seem to remember this was a forced change. Um, yeah, I think he's been with us a little while now because uh, our other player was poached. I can't remember who the other player was. Michael Rose, maybe? Let's have a look. Yeah, Michael Rose, Whitehawk. He was poached by Whitehawk. Again, Whitehawk is not really a league team at the moment. So I don't know why he went there, but it's okay. He was an old player anyway, so we replaced him with a young player. Two new changes in the midfield. One of them was forced, one of them by, was by Will. Um, so in the midfield, we have two brand new players. We have, uh, first of all, Luke Dra Draher. He's our best player um, at the moment. 24 year old, um, used to play for Crystal Palace. And we had to get him in because, again, one of our players got poached. I can't remember who, but this might give me a bit of a clue. Um, Andy Jackson? No, there was a striker. Hmm, I can't remember now. It might have been the loan that finished. 
That's also possible. Anyway, there was another player that was in that position and, and it all finished. So we had to get Luke. And then in the January season, we got Seth M Meeson to replace uh, Motti. Motti went to Doncaster on a free deal. Uh, in fact, we got Seth on purpose and then we offloaded Motti. So, so Seth was um, brought in just to improve that midfield. And then two more changes in the attack. So as you saw there in the transfer win, uh, screen, Andy Jackson accepted a deal by uh, Tiverton. Um, going back to a club. He's getting quite old. Again, we offered him a counter offer, but he didn't want to stay. So we replaced him with a young player, Sean. Um, looking like he has a lot of potential. Uh, but he's still quite young, um, Ghanian um, player. And then the only other change is that we got Liam, uh, sorry, Dylan Lawrence on a permanent deal. So he was with us on loan, and then as soon as his loan finished, we offered a, um, a free transfer to um, Elgin City, and they accepted. So he's now with us on a permanent basis. So those are all the changes to the squad. Uh, as far as the schedule's been going, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty good. We only had one, four, six defeats in total this season. Uh, one of them for the FA Cup in the second round, which is actually pretty far into the, um, FA Cup. So we lost against Shrewsbury, who play in League One. And the second, the, the, uh, one of the other defeats was for the FA Trophy in the fifth round against, um... Uh, Dorwich Hamlet, again, they play in the south, so sort of the same level as us, but in the south division. Um, and, sorry, I just, <laughs> I just felt something weird in my pocket, it was a bit of paper, um, and it was got some stickiness on it. Anyway, um, yeah, so so we have, we're, doing, we're doing pretty good, we've got lots of draws, but that's been helping us to maintain that position in the playoffs. So we're going to go into a match. We're playing against Southport, who are currently top of the league. So really, we aren't expecting and a defeat here, uh, realistically. But we're going to go into it anyways. So Southport just came back from a mixture of form. And then for the league, we have had, again, a mixture of form, just like Southport. Two wins, a, a draw, and two losses. Um, yeah, so it's going pretty well. There are no further changes that I expect before the end of the season. I might just do a final minute, like a last minute, um, you know, search of the market just before the transfer window closes at the end of March. Uh, I'm not sure how much that will actually change anything. Um, I've been improving the staff as well. I've got a lot of coaches going around and obviously I put some coaches in the... Um, one of the tricks that I like to do and one of the reasons that I ask for an under-21s team is because you can use the coaches in the under-21s to coach the first team as well. And that's how I've been putting up the numbers for coaches. So I've increased numbers in the first team senior coaching, but also I've got two more coaches, uh, I mean, a manager and a coach for the under 21s, and they're also helping to coach the first team. So that helps to improve that balance of distributing work between the coaches, which is good. Also improvements in our scouting and performance um, analysis, recruitment analysis, all of that. The only thing I've not been able to improve very much is the physio, but we're not really doing very badly for that, so it's okay. Now, the youth candidates have been announced. I mean, the the, the kind of the preview, so there's no names to it. But apparently, you're going to have pretty good goalkeeping and defense and wing players. So I'm always looking forward to seeing those. 
I very much doubt that any of them will be good enough to um, play in the first team. But at least we'll have a team in the under 18s, which at the moment we don't. So we are at the moment uh, at the minimal minimal difference in the lead. <laughs> Still got two subs to do. Pretty lengthy highlight here with um, both teams having possession of the ball. Pretty well defended there. Well done. And now we can launch our counter attack, but apparently there's nothing to see there. It's always disappointing when you get the counter attack shot and then like that, that kind of movement and then the highlight stops. Okay, now, last subs. We're gonna go with the left wing. Uh, all things left, all things left. Guys in the left side of the field aren't doing too well compared to everyone else, so I'm just gonna change people around to see if it helps. go the first of them intervening Kenny launches a ball to Smith couldn't get there that's gonna be a free kick maybe a card oh that's the first red card of the season for you know everyone we we've never had a red card and we're already in February at the end of February Just pause the game slightly um, here. Get the table back up. There we go. So even though we're winning, it doesn't help us gain ground in the table, but it does mean we can. Oh no, a penalty! It does mean we can maintain that fourth place, which is good. Um, all right. Let's see how this penalty goes. Yeah, okay. That's annoying. Extra time. Got a penalty in extra time and it brings the equalizer. So we only get one point now rather than the three. That doesn't change the table, but it does reduce our lead against the fifth placed. Oh well. And there we are. I'm not really going to play much more on camera that's I kind of just wanted to give you an update on what was going on with the club so it's going well everything's going well I think that really helped out making sure that we have a strategy that makes sense rather than like the previous save we were trying to implement a tactic that only worked for certain players and then shoehorning our players into it well this is a bit more organized um, so that, that means that I can work a lot better with it. So I'm going to carry on and I'll catch up with you again at the end of the season. Uh, I might make some changes, a couple changes in the squad just before the end of the transfer window. Um, but yeah, I'm not expecting massive changes. So yeah, I'll catch up with you at the end of the season. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also check out Patreon and a bunch of links as well in the description below. Thank you much. Take care. Bye-bye.